I'm building the CD launcher from Far Cry 6. Hey, that one actually worked pretty well. That's what I call a banana split. Thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. I'm a huge fan of Far Cry. It's honestly one of my favorite game franchises of all time. Needless to say, I'm super excited for the release of Far Cry 6. I'm equally as excited that we have been asked to do a custom build from the game. In Far Cry 6, you can craft a variety of weapons using items found in the environment. So that's what I'm gonna do with my build. I came across this ridiculous CD launcher and I wanna build it. There are a few things I wanna make sure I get right. It obviously needs to be ultra powerful and full auto. I want rapid fire. And to pay tribute to Far Cry, it needs to be aesthetically accurate. The first question is simply how? What mechanism am I gonna use to launch the discs? I could use springs or elastic bands or maybe some sort of pneumatic pusher. But I think our best bet will be to use some sort of flywheel. A flywheel is a wheel that can store and release rotational energy. They need to spin really fast and most commercial wheels will probably just fly apart. But I've got some things I wanna try and I think we can make it work. All right, first up, we've got a timing belt and pulley. I'm gonna start out on low power. Well, that was anticlimactic. Let's try the die grinder next. Check that out. Well, that wasn't too bad. Lastly, let's try the angle grinder. Hey, that one actually worked pretty well. Okay, so it seems like flywheels are pretty promising, but like I expected, in order to get the lethal power that I want, we're gonna have to make our own, as always. Okay, I just made these metal flywheels, and I'm gonna stretch an O-ring over them to give them a better grip with the disc. I'm going to use these drone motors to spin the flywheels because they're small and really powerful. All right, 20% power. Ah! That's working really well. Let's turn this up. 30%, 40, ah! Okay, so the O-ring failed me here, but there's massive potential. What happened is that because the wheel is spinning so fast, the centripetal force simply stretched the O-ring and caused it to fly right off. But I think I've got a solution. Let's try it. Okay, so I just machined these two new flywheels. And the difference between this design and the old one is the old one had a groove in the top of the flywheel in which the O-ring would sit. The new one actually has grooves on the inside faces. So you can actually sandwich the O-ring right in between both halves. And then when you put it on the motor, it tightens and pinches onto the O-ring. So I think this will work quite well. Let's give it a try. We have revision two of our flywheels fully mounted. Hopefully that means we can spin them all the way up and the O-rings will stay on. Let's see if that's the case. You guys ready? All right, I'm gonna send it just full speed right away, yeah? Okay, three, two, one. Oh, it sounds so much better too. Awesome, that looks like it works. Okay, let's launch a disc. <laughs> that was awesome. The discs were super powerful and the wheels stayed together, which means it's time to make the entire magazine and work on the electronics. Like I mentioned at the beginning, as a huge fan of the franchise, I couldn't be more excited for the release of Far Cry 6. It promises a robust narrative with a fully voiced protagonist whose backstory and performance goes head to head with Yara's evil dictator, Anton Castillo. Other than the CD launcher, there are backpacks that offer a range of abilities. You can craft jetpacks that shoot flames, 
launch rockets, provide medical aid, and more. Whatever your play style is, there's something for you. Far Cry 6 is available October the 7th. Click the link in the description to pre-order now. We have the launcher mechanism working as expected. So the next steps are to design a magazine that will hold the discs and a mechanism that will feed the discs out one by one into the launcher. SolidWorks? SolidWorks. Here's what I've come up with for the magazine design. Basically, we have the two flywheels of the front to launch our discs. We've got a guide rail in the middle that's the thickness of one disc so that we can feed one at a time. And we've got an arm at the back that will push the discs out. Altogether, this should work pretty well. But we do need some electronics to get it to cooperate together. That's why we have all this. This looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. Here we have the Arduino, which is basically the brains of the entire operation. It runs this LCD display, which will show exactly what the launcher is doing at all times. Up here, we have an H bridge, which will control the feeder arm. If you'd like to see the full schematic diagram, make sure to check out our maker.io link in the description below. Okay, basically the way this works is you load a stack of CDs into the top and then when you press the trigger, this linear actuator here pushes the lever and that releases one CD at a time into our launching mechanism. And that should hopefully fly right out. Let's see if it works. <laughs> this thing is freaking sweet and it checks two of my three boxes. It's ultra powerful and it's fully automatic. Awesome. But as you can tell, it looks nothing like the game. So let's change that. In the game, the launcher is made out of random collected junk. Let's see what we can find. James's favorite hammer. Perfect. Hey, Tyler, Tyler. Hey, uh, can, can I borrow that for a second? Thank you. Ian hasn't ridden this thing in weeks. I'm sure he won't mind. Thanks, Alex. Okay, that should be everything we need to finish this build and to look good. Hacks with dot store. All right, we're actually gonna use the body of this angle grinder in order to hold all of our electronics. So we're gonna take this thing apart. Next up, we need the hammer. Okay, we don't actually need the hammer. We're gonna use this as the handle for the launcher. To make the fenders, we'll be using our brand new PO Poly Resin 3D printer. It's all cured, time to paint. I'm actually rubbing off some of the paint with a tissue to give it an aged and damaged style we need to modify the CD drive to actually be able to fit our launcher mechanism. So in the game, it seems like the CDs fly out of the disk drive and I wanna have the same thing happen with ours. 
We'll take this thing apart. This thing is useless, and this thing is useless, and this thing is useless. There we go. Got an empty disk drive now. Okay, so step number one is I actually want to cut this piece to look like this. Go right into it. Now this piece is going to be coming out of here like this. And I've actually made a couple of templates to help us cut the right shape out. Look, we have a sticker on it now. So we're gonna angle grind out the top and the bottom so we can fit our launcher mechanism into the CD drive. Okay, with the CD drive all modified, we're ready to install the launcher. And install this front piece. Now that the CD launcher is all assembled, we're ready to start attaching the accessories. So this one goes on this side, just like this. It's all starting to come together. Next up, the handle. Okay, so these are the handles we just painted. Okay, so this is actually gonna go like that. Okay, the mechanical assembly is basically all complete. Finally, we have to install the electronics. This is actually our grip from the Jet Power Snowboard, and we're gonna use it as both a handle and a trigger for the launcher. And it's gonna go right here. Now we've got our LCD and our speaker mounted, so we can see exactly what the launcher is doing. We're using this high-powered Genzase tattoo battery to run the entire thing. Okay, we're finally ready to mount the motors. In order to test this thing, we're gonna need some ammo. Luckily, I've got plenty of CDs laying around. All right, let's see what we got. So these, hey look, Photoshop. Ooh, what do we have, what do we have? Uh, sounds of the power loader, Daryl's greatest hits. Hey look, we got a Pokeball. I can't read that handwriting. Hey look, Hacksmith.store. Oh, we even got a Captain America shield. Gotta fire that one off. GameStop to the moon. All right, let's destroy some of these. First up, Apple. Next up, Bananas. That's what I call a banana split. Let's see what it does against Red Bull. These goggles should be able to hold up to a few discs. Make sure to check them out on hacksmith.store. Barely scratched. Nice. Okay, let's see if James can withstand some of these CDs. Ready? Haha, <laughs> this thing is sweet. It works really well. So I think we should let others try it as well. Hey guys, wanna give it a shot? Woo! Woo! It is all over the place, man. Woo! Okay. This going everywhere. Woo! Woo oh, God! 
<laughs> that was awesome. We destroyed a bunch of apples, some Red Bull cans, even a mannequin's face. Yeah, who knew that CDs could do so much damage? Far Cry 6 will be available on October 7th, but you can pre-order now using our link in the description below. And make sure to check out the gameplay deep dive trailer up there. I'll see you in the game.